this is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials learn psychology while you sleep Watson's productive career in psychology lasted fewer than 20 years but he profoundly altered the course of psychology's development for many years to come he was an effective agent of the times that were changing not only in psychology, but in general scientific attitudes as well. The 19th century had witnessed magnificent advances in every branch of psychology. The 20th century promised even more marvels. It was thought that when scientists, even given enough time, would find solutions to every problem problem and answers to every question. Watson made psychology more objective in methods and terminology. Although his positions on specific topics stimulated much research, his original formulations are no longer useful. As a distinct school of thought, Watson's behaviorism was replaced by other forms of psychological objectivity in regards to behaviorism. Because revolutionary movements depend on protest for their strength, it was a very effective tribute to Watson's behaviorism to proclaim just 16 years after it was introduced that it no longer needed to protest simply because there was nothing left to protest. Watson's behaviorism effectively overcame the earlier mainstream positions in psychology. A graduate student at the University of Wisconsin in 1926 reported that by then, few students had heard of Vont and Tetchner. Objective methods and language had become identified with American psychology. Although Watson's program did not realize its ambiguous goals, he is widely recognized for his founding role. To some degree, the acceptance of Watson's behaviorism was a function of Watson's personality. A charismatic figure, he projected his ideas with enthusiasm, optimism, and self-confidence. He was a strong, appealing speaker who scorned tradition and rejected the current psychology. These personal qualities, plus the spirit of the times he so ably manipulated, define him as one of psychology's pioneers.